Hey guys, day three coming at you from my kitchen and today I have a special guest with me but before we get to her I just want to see if you guys are doing the Edmodo thing that we're all working on. Uh, I know Miss Soraya King, we got you. Where are the rest of you all? That's me waiting for you guys. Anyways, so I want to introduce you to my wife. Uh, she's going to tell you a little about herself and then she's going to give you like a public service announcement. Because today we're not going to do anything other than what's on the website already. I feel like I've given you enough. So we'll just do a PSA. You guys ready? Oh, look at that awesome wedding picture behind me. Isn't that awesome? Hi, I'm Mrs. Wartman. I'm a registered nurse. Um, I've been one for 17 years. And I work at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. I love what I do. Um, but I have to make sure that each of you are doing things that you should be doing, which is nothing. You need to stay at home, social distance yourself. You should only be around those that you live with in your home. Do not hang out with friends. Do not go to any kind of gatherings. Only go to stores um, that is imperative for you to go to, like for groceries or medications. Please stay six feet away from others. Wash your hands. Do not touch your T-zone, which is here and here. That is because when we cough, germs go into the air and then they land on a surface. And if you walk up and touch a surface that someone just coughed on, then you scratch your face, wipe your eyes, wipe your nose, your lips, anywhere in your T-zone. Those germs will then go into your mucous membranes. And that's where the coronavirus, COVID-19, lives. It lives in the respiratory um, system of our bodies, which is the back of our throat and down into our lungs. So that's why if you have shortness of breath, cough, or a fever, you should consider going and get tested for COVID-19. These symptoms typically would be new symptoms that have developed within the last seven days. If it is a chronic cough that you've had for months, then we wouldn't be as concerned for COVID-19. So please wash your hands, Stay six feet away from others. If you do cough or sneeze, do it in the bend of your arm, not in your hands. Then you wanna wash your hands with warm water and soap, or you can use hand sanitizer, but it must contain 60% alcohol to be effective against COVID-19. If you know anyone that works in healthcare, please say thank you to them because we're all stressed and tired and working longer hours and under a lot more stressful situations than usual. So please, if you know someone that is a nurse or a paramedic, a doctor, a medical assistant, please reach out, send them a text or give them a call and say thank you for what you're doing because it makes a difference. Stay well and stay six feet away. Bye. That's right. Make sure you say your thank yous. Oh, and to police officers too, because they're on the front line. We get to go in the nasty houses to help them out. Anyway, miss you guys a ton. Gonna see you here pretty soon, I hope. Uh, just as long as you guys are doing what you're supposed to be doing. If you're not, we might as well just forget about it. Anyway, miss you guys, see ya, bye.